this is the pair. Which stands for, by the way, Personal Electric Automotive Revolution. You know, we really want to design this vehicle here for today's and future's lifestyles. You know, you think about cars, they've kind of not changed much the last 50 years when you think about different utility aspects of a car. So with the pair, we actually started out looking at young people's lifestyles in big cities around the world. What, what, do they, what do they do every day? What do they want out of a car? You know, young people living in cities. How will digital natives use a vehicle in the future? When you think about you're maybe living in a big city, you're parking on the street, and during the night, a big van comes up right behind you, and you come out in the morning, you want to throw something in your hatchback, and you can't open it. So that solves this problem. And I want to take a look at, again, you know, what does this trunk here do? The window comes down, as you see here, and then basically the trunk goes down and disappears inside. Now, one of the important things I want to say with this vehicle, it also had a couple of other reasons. So, for example, there are some old cities where you have a very low parking garage, and again, you can hit your hatchback in the roof on those garages, but this doesn't happen here. And in fact, it's also really easy to walk over to the vehicle and throw something in the vehicle. Super easy. We can close that again. And coming a little bit back to the spaciousness of this car, I want to ask the people inside the car to come out, and I want to remember, this is a compact car, and there is two rows of seats in this car. As you can see, four doors. And people just keep coming out, by the way. <laughs> so what we have here is actually a car. With, we actually have a car here. As you can see, six people fits in the car, which is quite unique in a two-row uh, vehicle. And this is why this matters, because if you want six people in a car today, you normally have to buy a three-row vehicle, which becomes much larger, much more impact on the environment. In this vehicle, you can actually get all these people in the car. And the way we did that, in the front here, you will see that there actually is a bench seat. Instead of a one seat for the passenger, there's a bench seat where you can put two people, or you can just sit one person as well. So we'll offer this vehicle both as a six-seater, but also as a traditional five-seater with a unique storage right between the people, uh, a very big center console. Here we decided to show the six-person variant. You can also see inside this vehicle, there's a lot of new type of storage place. If you look at the whole dash, everything in the dash is about storage. We got some rubber bands, we can fasten things. So it's all about being able to put stuff in different places easily. What's also unique about this car is that we actually have something called the lounge mode, where you can move the front seats forward, fold them down, and the rear seat you can fold down. So you can actually sleep in this car if you want. You can just lounge. And in the five-seat version, we offer the big 17.1-inch rotatable ocean screen, which really means that you can actually lounge in here and watch a movie. I also want to point something else out. Uh, just talking about, you know, as you all know, we want this to be a very affordable vehicle. So we took a different design approach on this vehicle. For example, I want to highlight the armrest over there. So the armrest in this vehicle, we only have one armrest. Now, you know, you're, I, I know you're thinking, well, who's getting that armrest of these four doors? <laughs> well, actually, we just designed one symmetric armrest, and it's used for all four doors. That means one part number. So if any, every, somebody has to get fixed an armrest, we just have to send one armrest. We don't have to ask which door is it. But it, of course, also lowers the cost, lowers the tooling, everything else. That was a theme we took throughout the car. But I want to talk a little bit about how else did we get to the low cost of producing this car? How are we doing that? Well, this vehicle is sitting on a new platform called SLV-1. And that stands for symbol, versatile, and volume. So what's unique about this platform is it started as a steel plus plus. We called it that, the whole idea of how do we make this vehicle. And 
The steel plus plus concept was a concept where we wanted to take very, we want to take parts out of the car. We want to reduce the part count. And we actually ended up with reducing the parts count in that vehicle of 35%. 35% reduction in parts count. That's a lot. That means it's going to be a lot easier to manufacture this vehicle, a lot easier to assemble it. And just think about, we talked about earlier shipping parts, 35% less parts in this vehicle, which is quite unique. I also just want to talk a little bit about the exterior design because we talked about some of the things going forward to certain things or, or fitting in from, from the, the Ronin over here. So look at those headlamps. They're kind of cool. And of course, they're inspired a little bit by the Ronin. So you're going to get drizzled a little bit of supercar stuff into this vehicle as well, despite the price. And you look at these sculptured fenders. Look at this, the sculptured design. We are going for something very unique here, which is getting away from all this clutter. It's just a very pure clean design. And we really looked at doing something new also on the upper area of the vehicle. We kind of took inspiration from sort of the glider planes, which are super smooth and aerodynamic. So you see here at the rear, there is a window which is totally flush with the rest of the body, which is kind of cool. And I can show it over here as well. You kind of see this window here is totally flush and it's just rolling up here, which is very, very smooth, very cool, very aerodynamic. And when you look at the rear, uh, you can see these tail lamps here. They're just thin, wrap around, but it's actually one large spoiler that also helped this being much smoother in the wind. And then going to the front, like I mentioned earlier, kind of every design detail we, we did in this vehicle was really about, you know, how do you use a vehicle and what do we want to achieve? So if you look at the front, we actually have this very unique wraparound windscreen and we have a low cowl. And the reason we did that was, again, we want to have that glider plane feeling with this giant panoramic view as you're driving around in the city. You want to have the best possible view all the way out, you know, whenever you're driving around. This is the, that's what you want in the city. And that's why we designed this kind of super curvy front windscreen. All right, so let me come to something very important. I can 100% confirm, because we have pretty much finished developing and designing this vehicle. We, of course, now are working with suppliers. But I can confirm that this vehicle will start at $29,900. And that means after, after federal incentives, because we're going to build it here in the US, the price will be $22,400. I mean. I mean, that's, that's, that's a heck of a lot of car for money, I think, and a pretty cool car as well. And I think with all these different details, we actually can also broaden our market appeal to many different things that this car can be used for. For example, putting food here in the fruit so you don't have it smelling inside the car, etc. So we have a lot of kind of cool things that we'll start showing off in this vehicle as we move forward. Now, this vehicle will come in mid-2025. And the pair is our vision of a sustainable EV as a connected mobility device. This is the pair. <laughs>